We come here because Coco loves coming here. It makes him look and smell so awesome. You can be sure that uh, if you leave uh, Max with them, then uh, he'll be in safe hands. They say never work with animals or children. However, in the pursuit of amazing customer experience, you have to break a few rules. So I'm here in India, continuing my journey to learn how other businesses earn the love of their customers. And in this case, their four-legged friends. So let's meet Rana, owner of Dogspot. You have a real passion for dogs, and this started out as, as a 20% project for you. Tell me how it started. So I used to work for a digital company. Uh, the CEO was ex-Google. So there was a 20% thing. So I started spending time uh, on writing blogs and spending time with people in my office building community around pets. And then I started writing first on Blogspot and then it became Dogspot. The whole idea was that can dog lovers in India come together? And while I was doing this, my wife really wanted to leave her job and wanted to do something of her own. So we said that, uh, you know what, we know only dogs. Uh, and we are very passionate about uh, dogs. And that is how the boarding, you know, first started as a thing. And then we started looking at that, what are the problems which, you know, we as a consumer face, what are the experiences we have had. So what happened is when we were boarding, the pets used to come and they used to stay with us. When they will go back, people will feel really good about because, you know, they will go very clean, they will smell very good. Sometimes they started sending their pets back for one day so that they can get groomed. So then people said, okay, we'll pay you for grooming. Who is the customer? Is it the dog or the parent? Parent. Dog is a kid for us. Because, you know, we are handling kids. So what happened is that we get to know the, their pets so well uh, and what they do with them, what they like. They become our extended families. So how did customer happiness drive your business from the start? Yeah, so it starts right from the onboarding process. So we ask them to come at our home, see it. Uh, it's more like a homely feeling. We spend about an hour with them, with their pets. Uh, they can play around in our home. Uh, so they should feel as if they are giving their pet like guest to, to a family. Then when the dog leave us uh, and they go, go back home, uh, they should smell well and uh, they, should, uh, they should be you know, better in health. Right? So, so those are very small, small things which we uh, keep in our mind while the pet is staying with us. When it goes, it should make the families happy. Now you have the largest online pet care business in India. Yeah. How do you make sure that as you get bigger, customer stays at the center of what you do? We find opportunities every now and then and we can, we can see that it can grow very, very fast. But sometimes we have to pull back uh, for better consumer experience. Ultimately, it is the pet's experience which gets connected. Uh, so we never compromise on pet's experience. We, we can compromise on scale, but not uh, the experience, not on, uh, on anything else. So Ren, what's your biggest challenge? Yeah, so the biggest challenge when we work with people who are very passionate about their pets uh, is that they're, they're trying to do one of the best thing possible for their pets. But it is sometimes you'll find that the best what they're trying to do for their pets is not the right thing. And it becomes really tricky how to, you know, find the right words to tell them what you're doing is not correct. So what's the craziest request you've had? I remember is that one lady, she came with a shudzu, uh, hair only for grooming. And she says, can you make him smiley? And, you know, my wife, she said, yeah, let me try. And it actually came up very smiley face. Was she happy? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Dogs are, you know, anyways, happy, merry making, you know, kids around. And you have a smiley face dog. What else can you yeah. ask for? So, yeah. So if you were to describe your business in one word, what would it be? Passion. So that is what uh, drives our business. So how do you know when a dog is happy? Come, I'll okay. show you. So he's uh, Jumbo. Uh, mm -hmm. First thing we do is, you know, we do very easy hand combing just to see how is the hair condition. All right, what next? Then we take him to the bath and after that we do the trimming. This is the shampoo. Yeah. How am I doing, Rana? <laughs> very well. <laughs> so now we'll dry him up. So we'll apply some Dio 
body sprays. All right, we'll have you dry in a moment. Can I do it? <laughs> How about that, Jumbo? You'll be all ready to go out tonight. Let's give you a little spiky hair there. <laughs> Well, Jumbo, it turned out a little different than we expected. But you know what? I think I like it. Rana, thank you so much. Thank it's you. been a pleasure yeah. to learn about your business and to learn about your passion. Yeah. Most welcome. Above everything, what I take away from Rana today is passion. When you're passionate about what you do, it shines right through and truly makes every customer feel like your only customer. I'm also inspired by the effort Dogspot puts into onboarding investing time, understanding their needs, and building trust on both sides is crucial to a lasting and successful relationship. And our customer's Google journey starts with us. So with that same level of care and attention, we'll have them all smiling like a Shih Tzu.